Hi everyone, it's Lindsay and I am here today to share with you how to create a really clean and simple card set using only one stamp set. Now my cards will be four bar cards today, so a little bit smaller than your regular A2 sized card. And I have cut out a stitched rectangle that will be the top layer to my cards. I'm going to be doing watercolor, however I'm doing it on regular cardstock today and it worked out pretty well. Now I'm using the Breakfast Friends stamp set from Joy Claire Stamps and this is the only stamp set I'm going to use throughout the entire card set and I'm only using a few products on these cards as well. So on each card I'm going to be doing stamping on the outside of this panel and also on the inside of the card base. I'm also using a waterproof ink to do all of my stamping. This is uh, just a waterproof black dye ink and that's because again I'll be using watercolors to color in these images. So on that first panel I stamped the butter image and the word butter right underneath and on the inside it will read late than never so the entire card will say butter late than never so this stamp set is very pun filled and it's really cute a great way to create this really great card set that you can either use yourself or you can gift to someone now on this one I'm starting out with this heart shaped bacon and I'm stamping this in the top center of this panel this is the stitched rectangle panel and I'm just going to stamp that down in the black ink and then right underneath that it's going to say don't go bacon my heart and I'm just going to stamp that right underneath that little bacon heart and I'm going to center it up in that panel as well now if you wanted to you could just stamp the heart and on the inside of the card panel you could put the don't go bacon my heart however there's also this next little image that I'll be stamping and it's an egg in a frying pan that's frying up and right underneath that I'm going to stamp I couldn't if I fried so it's like the song don't go breaking my heart but it's very punny so that's the way I finished off that inside of the card now moving on to my next one I'm going to go ahead and use this image and this is an egg and he's got little arms and legs and then in the stamp set you have the choice of either filling in the center of this egg with a heart shape yolk or there's also a circle yolk also included in the stamp set are all these great little faces. You've got some smiley happy faces, some crazy faces, and also some fat, sad faces if you want to use those as well. So right in the center of that egg I stamped a little happy face with the heart yolk and then on the inside of the card it will read have an excellent day. Now not only are these little faces great for this stamp set, but if you have any other little stamps that you might want to add a face to or die cuts, these faces are so tiny they will fit great with any other thing you might want to put a face on. So on this panel I'm going to go ahead and stamp this smashed egg and on the inside it's going to say you crack me up. So that's a very clean and simple and very easy to stamp out card. Now on this next panel, I'm going to go ahead and stamp that same butter image that I used the first time. However, I'm going to use some different sentiments to fill this card out. So on the top of this, it says, you're my, and I'm going to stamp that just a little, about a half an inch up away from that butter, and I'm also going to center that up in the panel. Now the little butter word will fit perfectly inside the butter stick. I stamped it below on the first card but on this one I decided to go ahead and stamp it on the actual butter so the sentiment will end up reading you're my butter half and on the inside of this card I'm going to go ahead and use that bacon image that I used before that's in the shape of a heart. I'll go ahead and stamp it down and then also included in the set is an I and a U. Very bold and punchy words but you can put I love you with the little heart, your little bacon heart as the love. So you'll have your my butter half, I love you on the inside of the cart. So you can just imagine all the different combinations you can get with just one stamp set. So on my next little panel here, I'm gonna use this bacon image that has little hands and feet, as well as the egg I used beforehand. Now these hands will actually interlock with each other if you stamp them side by side. So I need to space these out a little bit so they'll actually fit on the panel, 
fill up the panel, be centered in it, and also interlock hands. So I just put that little baking guy down as a placeholder, moved it out of the way when I was ready to stamp my little egg down, and then I can go ahead and line up the hands and stamp the bacon guy right next to him. Now again, you have the choice of stamping the little heart yolk or the circle yolk for the little egg on the inside. And also, again, I'm gonna use those faces. Now you can see on the bacon on the left-hand side, it does have a little bit of space right in the top just to stamp a little face into it. So again, I can go ahead and stamp a face onto him as well. Now you can see I did mess up on stamping this the first time and it didn't stamp on the left hand side. I didn't push down hard enough. However, these are clear stamps so I can look right through them, line it up again and stamp the complete bacon again right on top and I don't have to start over. So you can see I stamp the circle yolk and add little faces to the egg and the bacon. And then on the inside it says, you make my heart sizzle. Now I'm just gonna be using one watercolor set to watercolor in all of these images. And this is the Secura Koi sketch box. This is the larger palette. I think it's 36 colors. And I just mixed up some colors. I'm gonna be using the same colors for each image. So if I have a bacon on this one, the bacon hearts will be watercolored in the exact same way. So I have the colors already mixed up and I don't have to mix up a ton of different colors. Also, underneath each little image on these very clean and simple card fronts, I'm gonna add little grounding effects. So a little gray line basically that I really fan out at the bottom and add a lot of water to just to get it to fade off into white and that's gonna be my grounding and it's gonna add more interest. Now these are very clean and simple cards, so I really need to do a nice job watercoloring. I am watercoloring on regular cardstock here, so I also need to be very careful, use very tiny amounts of water, and really let these dry in between layers so I don't get any pilling on my cardstock. However, I do like the look of watercoloring on your regular plain cardstock sometimes instead of watercolor paper. So as I said before, all of my bacon images are going to be watercolored in with the exact same colors. So I already had the colors mixed up for the inside of this card. So it was very simple just to dip my brush in and go about coloring these in, coloring these in the exact same way. Now on this certain little bacon one, I decided to go ahead and add a blue kind of sky or halo around the bacon just to give it a little bit of something extra. So instead of the gray grounding effect, I'm doing a sky effect on this one. Now on my little spilled egg here, or cracked egg, I'm gonna go ahead and color in the egg you, like you would any other egg. So I've got the yellow yolk. I'm adding just a tiny bit of gray to the actual white part of the egg, just to give it a little bit of color. Now there was a whole lot of white going on. So what I decided to do was go ahead and color in the shell of the egg brown. So just whenever you're doing really simple scenes like this, just try and be smart and a little bit more colorful with your color choices so it adds a little something extra. And again, I'm gonna go ahead and add that grounding effect and I always come back in with a final little touch of very dark, almost black gray. Now on this one, I also added just a little bit of sky around the top since it was a very overly simple image and it had no words on the front. So that was a way to kind of kick this card up a notch. I will also add the grounding effect on this one as well. And on the actual egg, the white part of the egg, I always add a little bit of gray and I go really dark in the corners that are very rounded. And that always gives it a little bit more depth to the image and helps it stand out from that very white card panel that it is stamped on. So on this panel, I wanted to go ahead and color in my skillet like an iron cast skillet. So I'm using some grays and blacks and I needed to be very careful because the egg in the actual skillet is very small and also I needed it to stand out from the grounding effect that I was gonna go ahead and color around the skillet as well. So I needed to use very dark, very rich colors and then go a little lighter with my ground. Now again, I'm coloring in this bacon the exact same way I have all of my other ones, going a little bit darker in the corners, a little bit lighter in the center, and then on this one, again, I'm gonna go ahead and add that blue sky all the way around it and go very dark and heavy-handed with the blue where the curves and kind of the creases are in this image. 
And there's one final look at that colored in bacon image. And you can see it's still a little bit wet. And I'm just sitting these off to the side to dry as I go along, making sure I don't lay any on top of each other until they are perfectly dry. Now here again, I'm going to go ahead and color in this butter image the exact same way I did the ones before. I already have the colors mixed up, so it's very easy and quick to do. And then I'll go ahead and add that grounding effect just like I did before. And on this one, I am staying away from that butter word on the bottom just so it doesn't distract from it at all. And there you have that finished card ready to go. Now these were all watercolored very quickly. I set them aside to dry as I was moving along to other cards. And then I came in and I cut a bunch of fun foam panels that were slightly smaller than the white cardstock panels that I had stamped on, added double sided adhesive to each one, and now I'm just going to start layering these on top of their card bases, making sure and double checking that I have the right card base for the right card front. So I'll just center that up and go ahead and stick that right down on top. And this card is done. Now on some of these, I did decide to go and add some enamel accents. You could always skip that if you wanted to and just leave these nice and clean and simple. But I just added them to three different ones and just used black and white. And one of them I mixed black and white together and did a scattering of little dots with those. But that finishes off this card set. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope I gave you a few pointers on creating your clean and simple cards and creating them in bulk as well. As always, I will leave you guys with this close up of the finished card set and a few pictures. For more information and the supply list, you can head to my blog. I will leave that link in the description box below. Thank you guys so much for watching today and happy crafting.